Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. I'm excited to talk to you about uh, an interesting soundscape from the Nord Stage 3. We've actually managed to duplicate the ending part of the official Nord Stage 3 video. Now, there's an ending piece in that video that is quite interesting because there's morphing going on and an interesting sound effect where the synth comes in on top of the piano, adds a lot of reverb, special effects, then comes back down to a simple piano. It's well executed, it's a nice piece of music, and a lot of people, both on the Nord Stage 3 video comments, if you look on YouTube, there's some comments there where people talk about that particular part. And what's interesting about this is that there are a couple of people that actually reached out to me and said, Mark, is there any way you can you know, show us how to do that or imitate that sound or tell us how we can get that on our own Nord Stage 3? How did they do that sound? How did they come up with that? So I worked with Mark Stallings on this, and of course, he already had done this uh, long ago, probably back in the day, um, and he put that on the Nord user forums. Of course he did. So let's go to the Nord user forums and check that out after we watch the actual video. So it's about a minute and 20 seconds, so hang with me here, listen to it. A lot of you might have listened to this before. If you haven't, sit back, relax. I think it's a nice piece of music, and it certainly demonstrates the power of the Nord Stage 3. And um, we're going to duplicate that here. If you watch the video, we'll show you how you can get this program and install it on your own Nord Stage 3. And then we have a special surprise at the end where we're going to take a MIDI file, pump that through Logic Pro X, and have Logic Pro X actually play the piece as performed and recorded by Mark Stallings as a way of imitating or saluting this particular piece of music. Now, Mark didn't actually create the original uh, soundscape for Nord, uh, nor is he shown in the performance. That's a different performer. But Mark actually imitated the sound and uh, performed it and has a MIDI file available to us. Okay, so let's not get ahead of myself. Let's watch the video now. I'll blow this up to full screen and go to 1119 or so. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a really interesting piece of music, and I like the way that it transitions from one sound to another or overlays the sound on top of each other. And I think without really some help, this might be difficult to replicate out of the, out of the box. But luckily, we have uh, the program at our fingertips. So let's go take a look at getting this program so you can get it on your own Nord Stage 3. So to do that, you need to just jump over to the Nord forums, and I'll put the links to these files, uh, both the video that you just saw as well as the links to this uh, forum post that you're about to see here. And uh, as well as any of the equipment, like for instance, there's, a, there's an expression pedal that you saw in the video. So I'll put a link for one of those too, if you want to look at that. Okay, so here we are on the Nord forums. Let me blow this up a little bit. Here we go. And you'll see here, this is a post from Mark Stallings. Now it doesn't say Mark on here, but he actually goes by ob Wands here on the forum. Essentially, we have three important files. We have a MIDI file, an MP3 file, which allows you to hear what the final product would be as performed by Mark. And then we actually have the program right here. So if you download all three of those, uh, they'll end up in your downloads folder. So let me do that now. Okay, now that the files are downloaded, open up the Nord Sound Manager. And that's an application that you use to move programs, which are essentially patches, back and forth between the computer and the keyboard. So what I like to do when I open up the Nord Sound Manager for the first time is um, I like to click the Organize button up here. This allows me to see the blank spots or the available slots or locations 
uh, for this new sound I'm going to introduce. So I'll do that now here. And the sound that I'm going to drag in here uh, ends with an NS3F. So I will just drag this program over here to an empty area. Then I immediately right click and let's rename it to something that we'll recognize when we get to the Nord Stage 3. So I'll put this as the Nord Demo Vid and I'll just push OK here and save that. And if I double click it, it will actually select it on the Nord Stage 3. So at this point, you can actually right now go to your Nord Stage 3 and start playing that sound. If you have an expression pedal, uh, make sure you, you know, connect that and you can use that to morph the sound and then use the wheel to morph the other portion. You'll notice that it's set up in splits. Uh, so there's a lot going on with this particular program, but now you actually have it um, and really awesome. So now that we've got that, close the Nord Sound Manager and we can actually go the extra step and have a performance for us and have it performed on the Nord Stage 3 via a MIDI file that was programmed by Mark Stallings. So to do that, I'm using Logic Pro X, which is an application here on my Macintosh. It's a paid app uh, that you can purchase and download. And it's much more than just a MIDI player. It's a full-fledged DAW, also known as a digital audio workstation. And essentially it's used by uh, professionals essentially all over the world to create music. So it does all kinds of things, but notably, it actually allows you to take a MIDI file and play it back through a MIDI device, such as the Nord Stage 3. Now to set all this up, you know, this will take a whole nother learning curve and could take several videos to teach you all this. And there's plenty of that already on YouTube available for you at your fingertips if you want to learn how to use Logic and then export uh, MIDI or play MIDI through Logic. So we won't go through all that now. I've done all that work here ahead of time and it's really not that hard, but if you've never done it before, it can really seem like an uphill battle to get to the stage here that you're looking at. So all I've really done is taken this um, MIDI file right here and dragged it into the Logic Pro X. And now I'm going to push play on Logic Pro X. And while it's playing, I will also show you a couple of things that are happening here. Let me highlight this, okay. So here's the uh, the actual performance in MIDI represented as blocks or piano roll. Um, if you have Logic Pro X, you can actually convert this to a score and you can see uh, the actual notes played if you're uh, good, good at sight reading and things like that. But for now, we'll just keep it in this sort of electronic piano scroll view. And down here are the MIDI uh, program changes, if you will. So this one here represents the foot control. Uh, then we have the sustain pedal. And then the note velocity. And channel pressure. I don't know if that really applies to this particular uh, performance. But then here's the modulation. And I'll flip back and forth between these as we play this. So what you're about to hear, this is essentially Mark Stallings recording a MIDI file, putting it up on the Nord forums. We've downloaded the MIDI file. We've put it into Logic Pro X. We're having Logic Pro X play this music through an, a MIDI interface. Now the interface I'm using, I'm using the Focusrite 18i8, and I'll put a description in below the video uh, for that. All right, let's play this and listen to it. I'll switch headphones here and we'll get this going. Again, this is Mark Stallings playing this MIDI file, having it available for us here to enjoy from our very own Nord Stage 3 on a program that we just loaded a moment ago.
Excellent job. Absolutely excellent. And although uh, with several hours, I probably could have imitated that sound essentially and played it. Um, I think Mark did this in moments rather than hours. So uh, really a hats off to that advanced skill. And we're celebrating that here because it's not about uh, what I can do or what any one of us can do. It's what we can do together. And um, this is a really nice piece. And I'm happy to be sharing this with you guys. So if you like that, leave some comments, uh, some likes and all that good stuff. And if you want to learn more about how I connected this in great detail to Logic Pro X and get all this configured, um, I'd be happy to do a video if there's a lot of interest. If there's no interest, then uh, we'll move on. A lot of this is available on the internet already through YouTube to learn how to do this connection and things like that. But this video is specifically for the Nord Stage 3 owner or user, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.